Hi everyone and welcome to this week's edition of Tuesday Faith Formation. It's a beautiful warm day outside. I hope you've gotten to enjoy some of that and I hope that by now you've heard the news that uh, we will be going back to worship not this Sunday but next Sunday the 21st. I'm really excited to see a lot of you um, and to hear what you've been up to uh, in person. That'll be wonderful. We've had a lot going on around us in the past couple of months, friends, from all of us being in quarantine because of the coronavirus, and I know that that has um, not been able to, not being able to go to school and not being able to play with our friends or gather with maybe some of our grandparents. That's been hard at times and hard to understand, um, and we've talked about that some, and now as we sort of move to a new phase where it's getting to be a little bit safer to gather, there's lots of other things going on in our world that can be scary. You know, maybe some of you have seen on the news about some protests going on and you're trying to figure out what's happening. Um, and those of you that are older and understand a little bit more about what's going on and some of the talks that the people in our country are having about racism and, and justice in our country, maybe you're wondering to yourself or trying to talk to your parents and friends about um, what that means for you, what you can do to help. Um, and I hope all of us are asking the question, since we are followers of Jesus, what does that look like? How do we love every person knowing that God made every person and um, make sure that we are working so that every person is treated as a beloved child of God? We're trying to figure that out in our family too. We're, we're doing learning, we're doing a lot of listening to people um, who have different experiences than ours, and we're doing a lot of talking. And um, one of the resources that I have found that I want to share with all of you this week for your family's faith formation around this topic are some daily devotions from a resource called Faith at Home. So, what you need to do is look in the comments. There will be devotions for each day of the week linked there and your family can do one or all of them, whatever you see fit, save them for later, whatever works for you. But I do invite you to take some time to do those together. If you're an adult who's at home without somebody, maybe you can call somebody up on the phone because I think it's really important for us to talk with each other. So I'd love to hear your thoughts once you've done some of these activities and maybe we will all be able to talk about them together soon. Enjoy the beautiful weather, friends. Enjoy our summer vacation from the school and I can't wait to see all of you. Bye.